art enthusiast, welcome to my art travel vlog. Today, we're gonna enhance our creativity and be inspired by these three famous museums in the city of Manila. I am Aubrey, an art student. Join me to reveal the beauty of the National Museums of the Philippines. First off, my all-time favorite, the National Museum of Fine Arts. It is located along Padre Burgos Street in the city of Manila, a home to 29 galleries and hallway exhibitions comprising of 19th century Filipino masters, national artists, leading modern painters, sculptors, and printmakers. The building is designed by Ralph Harrington Duane, Antonio Manyalak Toledo, and Juan M. Arellano between 1918 to 1926. The long years of construction was caused by the lack of funds and was decided to become a legislative building. It has a strong historical background because in February 1945, Japanese forces used the building as their stronghold and modified it with their defensive installations. After the artillery fire caused by American forces, the building were heavily damaged but started to rebuild it in 1949 maintaining its original building footprint and height. Today, the National Museum of Fine Arts has a lot of additions, such as the north and south of the building that serves as the museum building's administrative offices. Due to the health protocols of the building, we didn't get the chance to explore all the galleries and exhibits that they offer. But take a look at these amazing shoots that I took from the museum. Let us now admire the beauty of these galleries from the Philippine National Museum of Fine Arts. is the Spolarium Hall where we can see the most famous painting of a well-known artist, the Spolarium by Juan Luna y Novicio during 1857 to 1899. Let us now move on to the second most visited museum which is the Philippine National Museum of Anthropology. It showcased Philippine ethnographic, terrestrial, and underwater archaeological collections narrating the story of the Philippines from the past. So if you're into Philippine history, you should definitely visit this museum. The building was heavily devastated during the Second World War Battle of Manila. Together with the Building of Fine Arts, the building of Museum of Anthropology was heavily damaged. But luckily, the building was rebuilt in 1949, maintaining its original building footprint and five-story height. It is also located between Padre Burgos Street in the city of Manila. As the present National Museum of Anthropology, a lot of additions and changes has been done to enhance the beauty of the building. Let's see the glimpse of the museum in my gallery. Museum of Natural History, located along Padre Burgos Street of Manila. It showcased 12 permanent galleries that exhibit the rich biological and geological diversity of the Philippines. 
It includes creatively curated displays of the botanical, zoological, and geological species that represents our unique natural history. The building was constructed as the Agriculture and Commerce Building in 1940 designed by Filipino architect Antonio Toledo in neoclassical style during late 1930. It was also heavily destroyed by the Alterelli Fire during February 25 until February 28. The building is then reconstructed in 1949. And now, I present to you the Today's Museum of Natural History through my own lens. building is the largest crocodile in the Philippines named Lola. His skin, texture, and size are very true in the museum. It's indeed a wonderful time to spend with your loved ones. For me, museums clear my mind and gives me inspiration and knowledge. I hope it brings you the inspiration and knowledge that you need too. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you did enjoy our art vlog for today. See you soon!